So in this video, I'll be talking about this 4G GPS tracker, which you can use to track anything. Well, this product is from Valetron called as Veltrek V4, and it is completely open sourced and completely programmable as well. It comes with its built-in firmware using which you can track its real-time location using the Valetron's mobile application. And in case you know programming well, you can program this board and send its real-time location to any third-party IoT platforms as well. Interesting, isn't it? So I've decided to divide this whole thing in two different videos and in this video, I'll be talking everything about this product starting from the overview, its specifications, then we'll also be talking about the schematic of this product. And in the end, I'll let you know how to use this product to track the location in real time using the Valetron's mobile application without programming. So be ready to learn something new about this all new 4G GPS tracker, which is completely made in India. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now, LTM is not just another PCB designing software, rather, it's a world class and award winning PCB designing tool that has some features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion, any angle routing, bus routing, face and length tuning follow me more and much more which makes it an ideal choice for pcb designing by a lot of companies along with this they do also have ltm 365 that not just covers the pcb designing part but also helps with design sharing via web sharing designs to mechanical team for product design centralized cloud storage and a lot more and along with all this they do have a very useful search engine made just for electronic components called as octopart using octopart you can search for any components and you will be able to compare its price and availability around the globe not only that you can also get the details about the components like its specifications and data sheet all at one single place so ltm provides everything to make your production task a lot easier so do try out all the services right now as you'll be getting a free trial version by just clicking the link mentioned in the description. Happy making. So this is the Veltrek V4 and before this product, the company also made a couple of more GPS trackers whose link I'll leave in the description of this video. Now this product comes in two different variant. One is with casing and other is without casing. Well, I'm having the one with the casing. So the casing offers durability to this product and also it protects our circuit to get in direct touch with some metallic parts when attached in a car or bikes. Not only that, it is also IP67 dust and water resistance. So that's the point which you should take into consideration while opting for the casing. Now these two wires coming out from the case can be used to power this device with a 12 to 42 volt DC power supply. And on the top, we have three indicators, one for battery, other for cellular network and third for GPS signal. Now I'll talk in detail about that backup battery later in this video. So that was the casing overview. Now let's open it up. So inside this, we get to see this PCB with a GPS antenna on it. Let's unscrew this PCB to see what's behind it. So now if I talk about the specification, then this whole thing is based on A7672S module, which is a 4G LTE module with built-in GNSS for location-based services. And this module is given the 80 commands via ESP32C3 chipset which got built-in 4 MB flash memory and we can also expect built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to the net. Then it got a 3-axis accelerometer, a nano SIM card slot, a micro USB port to program the ESP32 chip, dedicated reset and boot buttons, 3 RGB LEDs for status indication, a connector for connecting a backup battery of up to 4.2 volt and an MP2617 battery charging chip and all this comes in the size of just 34 by 43 mm. Well here the backup battery is used to power up this device in case where it is not getting the supply from your vehicle. Maybe if your vehicle is turned off, it can still track the location with the help of that backup battery. So those were the complete specification of this board. Now, as I said, this project is open source, so you can get the schematic of this PCB file as well. Let me show you. So here is the schematic of this PCB used for this project. So you can refer to this if you want to know some pin mappings or to understand the circuit better. I'll leave its link down in the description of this video. So now after knowing all this thing, let's have a look over how to use this device practically to track the real time location. So first I'll insert a SIM card in this slot. So here I'm using my VI SIM card, but you can use any 4G SIM card that you have. But the recommended SIMs are from VI and Airtel. Geo may not work in some cases. After this step, now I'll close the casing and here if you make this device stand still, it will go in the sleep mode to save power. 
and once you shake it or it's in motion, it will wake up again and start sending the data. So currently, the battery light is shown as red as it is running on a backup battery. Then cellular signal is green and the GPS signal is also green. Now here make sure that the SIM you are using has already activated data pack in it to send the data over internet. After all this, now let's move on to the application side. So here is the Veltrek V4 app which is available for Android only. Now here before configuring the app, let me tell you that if you want to use that application to track the real time location of the device, you need to pay a particular amount annually to Valetron systems. And once you pay the amount, they will generate an account linked with your device so that you can track your device location using their mobile application. So now here I'll provide my email ID and password generated by Valetron. And after logging in, here you can see the device and now I can track the location of my device. So it's working fine and now let's install it. So I went down the studio and decided to fit it inside this vehicle. So we opened it up and attach our tracker with the vehicle's battery and fix the tracker near to it. Now we are ready to go for a long drive. Okay, so we are getting the location data after every particular time interval on the app itself. Great. So that was the 4G GPS tracker from Valetron and now if you want to buy this device for yourself, well you can get it from techiesms.com whose link is down in the description of this video. We do have both the options available like with enclosure or without enclosure so you can make your purchase choice according to your use case. So that was the part 1 of this video where we learned how to use this device with the Valetron's app, built in firmware and then mobile application. And now in the second part, I'll let you know how to program this device to make it work with any any third party IoT cloud platform so you'll be able to send its location to maybe any other cloud or maybe your cloud in case if you have. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to learn that technique and yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.